In tonight's edition of Dakota Diners, we are hitting the road to the small Spink County community of Tulare to visit Auntie Mimi's Farmhouse Kitchen. The restaurant is known for great food and for a unique business model they call Farm to Table. Our Brian Allen takes us there to meet the woman who says her business does more than just serve food. Tulare is a town that depends heavily on the farm economy, where train traffic can still slow down car traffic a couple of times a day, and a place where right on Main Street, people gather to trade the important news of the day. Who's the new grandma? Um, who's graduating? Who's getting married? Six months ago, Marie Kimlicka decided she was going to take a bit of a chance. The number one reason why I decided to do this here is the fact that the agriculture economy is um, kind of sketchy right now. Marie and her husband, Kurt Van Vliet, are third generation farmers, which means they know both the ups and the downs of the ag economy. And lately, it's been on the downside. And we were looking for ways to diversify, and this cafe needed a new manager. Taking charge of a restaurant is no small task, but being the boss means you can try new things. Marie had been buying her meat from a retailer, and while it was a good product, Marie had a thought that changed how this small eatery in Tulare did its business. I said, wait a minute, we can do better. Marie wondered if there was something she could do with this business that would not only provide her with quality meat, but also put some dollars back into the pockets of local livestock producers in and near Tulare. So she decided she was going to go into business with them. She would buy the meat she needed locally. That's what makes us unique because we do. Um, all of the beef and pork and lamb that is served in this cafe is born and raised within a 10 mile radius of Tulare. It's a concept they call farm to table. It has made Aunt Mimi's even more of a local favorite because this business doesn't just want to be a success itself. It wants the entire community to be a success. And if the farm economy is doing better, people feel better. And right now in Tulare, People feel better because of Aunt Mimi's. Never underestimate the value of community support. It's, it's just unreal. Marie Kimlicka knows she is fortunate and does not take any of it for granted. It comes from good people living in a really nice community and being passionate about the way we all live. In Tulare, Brian Allen, KSFY News. Auntie Mimi's has only been open since January, but as you can tell, it already has a very strong following in the Tulare area.